What's going on guys, Dennis Black is here and today I'm gonna share with you some tips and tricks about car photography and show how you can make your photos look way better. Let's get it started. Car photography is probably one of my favorite types of commercial photography and the reason why is because I can combine two of my favorite things together – it's traveling and an actual photography. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you must know that I love traveling and exploring new places. So the fact that I can work and travel in the same time, even inside my country, makes me very happy. So let's grab a car, camera and take some photos. For this particular shoot that has been earlier this year, I was using the new car model from LDV brand called T. 60 trail rider which looks and drives awesome but before jumping into the car you need to make sure that you've got everything planned ahead and here's my first tip to plan your trip in advance especially if you've got a limited time make your route before you jump into the car car photography could be a bit tricky sometimes because you can find lots of nice spots where to take photos but there will be no car access to get there or there will be fence or gate or something else. Also, don't forget to check opening hours, especially if it's a public place. From my own experience, I had a couple of times when I woke up around 4 a.m. in the morning to get some beautiful sunrise shots in the national park around Sydney, but it was closed. And I'm like, uh... Okay, so make sure you check everything before you start that car engine. Second tip here is try to match surroundings with the type of the car you've got. So for example, if you're shooting a big four-wheel drive car, you better choose some off-road locations, national parks, wild beaches. It could also be industrial area with some cool rustic background and old brick walls to give the feel of strength and power of the car. If it's a brand, the best place would be on the road to showcase that this car is created for long family trips and boring dead jokes along the way, of course. Location is everything when photographing cars, as it helps to add story to your image rather than just presenting a photo of a car. You don't want to shoot a sports car on the beach and get stuck over there in the sand, right? So think wisely about choosing the right location. But do follow the brief of your client while shooting the car. And if company is okay to shoot their Lamborghini on the beach during the high tide and are happy to pay for towing services, go for it. Tip number three is always to make sure your car is clean, especially a windscreen. You don't want to see any dirty spots or fingerprints on the front window, especially while shooting during the sun sunrise or sunset and you've got perfect ray of light coming through. This is when you start to realize that your windscreen is actually dirty. Like on this photo that I took for example, luckily it was clean. Just chuck a windscreen washer or wipes in the car and save you some time in Photoshop. Keep in mind that a car is like a big mirror that reflects everything around it – trees, people, other cars parked nearby. So while shooting, try to make sure that there are not many objects around it that can potentially be reflected on the side of your car, especially with the bright colors. Another little pro tip here for you guys is when you shoot the car early morning, Pay attention to the small water drops on the car, particularly on the roof. These are called condensate water and it's caused by the weather temperature change during the night. So make sure you've got a couple of racks or old towels with you to wipe that water and save you some time in post-production. Tip number four is to choose different angles and positions. Basic rule here is to keep the camera at the height of the side mirror. You can go higher or lower and get more creative with it, but the size of the car will be changed accordingly. Also, don't be afraid to move the car and try out different car positions while you're on the same spot. Some of the positions might not work the best, but when you rotate the car and place it backwards or sideways, it might look much nicer. I personally can spend up to an hour moving the car around until I will find the perfect position that I like. Another little tip here that I've learned from other photographers is always try to turn the wheels of the car to face the photographer. It gives the car much better look and it's more pleasing to the eye in general. And the last tip here is to use the benefits of the daylight. I personally prefer to set my photo locations by a certain time of the day, starting from the very morning. Again, when you've got a limited time and got a car given only for one day, for example, you want to make the most out of this day. So what I usually do is I go to my first location during the sunrise, where I'm able to see the actual sun rising to get some nice car shots during that period of time. Next is the lunch time, when the sun is really harsh and bright. So I usually go to the city and try to shoot the car somewhere between the buildings or on the streets. And lastly, it's a sunset time and again another location for this that will allow me to capture last car shots during the golden hour. 
when the sun is gone and there is no daylight at all, I still can do some long exposure shots if needed. So, as you see, if you organize your time right during the day, you're able to get lots of photos to choose from. Some of the shots and locations that you planned before might not work for some reasons, so having that time organized will bring you a positive result in the end of the day. That's all for today, guys. Hope you find these tips useful, and I really hope you could understand at least something because of my funny Russian accent. If you want to hear more about how to make some action car shots, comment down below and I will consider making second part of this video in the future. Thanks for watching guys, hit that like and subscribe button if you've been getting value out of this video and I will see you in the next one. Peace! Со светом какая-то фигня, что за хрень вообще происходит? Ютубер, мать твою, мне надо просто капец какой-то. Кто написал этот текст? Я написал этот текст, теперь сижу и мучаюсь.